Last year, we went to SEMA. We built the K350, had an absolute blast. It was super, super cool truck, and I wanted to do it again. So Sean told me I could only do it again if I paid for the truck, if I bought the truck that time. So I went and bought a 2020 Silverado 1500, and here we are, back on the road to SEMA. This is going to be a new kit from Superlift. I don't know when this is going up, but as of filming, it is a pre-production, unreleased, second in the world kit, and it happens to be mine. So we've got an eight inch Superlift, their new Black Diamond series, um, equipped with the King coilover. So it's basically the max package that they have here. And we're going to uh, dig into the boxes and see what we got, because I have no idea what I'm getting into. Some U-bolts. And these little brackets that I have no idea what they're going to be for. Ah, this is going to be lift knuckle. It's a big boy. Whew, that's heavy. Let me put that over here. Skid plate. Oh, this is cool. This is super cool. So, just a big old steel plate, right? But what is underneath that is the front skid plate. So there is your black diamond edition logo laser cut into the skid plate and then i would imagine this bolts into the back like so oh yeah oh that is a thick plate very heavy duty lower skid plate there so that's going to go between the two drop cross members that is this is heavy like really really heavy Oh, wow, that was heavy. Woo! We're going to be compression struts for the front. Cool looking cross members. They got the new Superlift logo in the center here. Just the little, the stylized S cut out of it. So we got front and rear cross members. So these are going to be the rear shocks in this box. Remote reservoir. Oh. So here we got the, res the coilovers. Big boy. All blue with the King Rezies. This is a sweet kit. I'm super excited to get it on my truck and we'll see how it, uh, how it performs, put it to the test. What's going on guys? So I got more parts for my truck. I'm gonna start this off by saying, I know we don't sell Cognito, but I've been trying to get Brad and Nick to add them to the site for forever. So if you're mad, take it up with them. But I need some upper control arms for my 1500 because it's notorious on the GM 1500 trucks that the upper control arm is the failure point and I don't like stock stuff anyway. So I hit up Cognito and got some control arms. And I've been waiting on these for like forever because it's the middle of the Rona and you can't get parts anywhere. But let's see what they look like. And there is the money. Ooh, those are wrapped up real nice like. Lost and I don't have my knife. There she is, boys. Fully fabricated Cognito upper control arm. Ooh, look at that ball joint. That's gonna be so much happier, so much. Now you gotta take it apart and send it to powder coat. Waiting on a, an add leaf for the rear and waiting on me to get my shit together and start ripping the truck apart, which will hopefully be real soon. Like tomorrow soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. I only have like five weeks to get this truck done. Same. So it's crunch time. Morning. Morning. All right, what are we doing? We are uh, slightly disassembling some King coilovers here because as cool as the King coilover blue is, it doesn't really match my truck. So uh, we're gonna take everything apart as much as I can. And uh, you're gonna take it down to powder coat and it's gonna come back a different color that I'm not telling you about. So I'll get you back. What's going on guys? So I got my wheels back. We got some 24 by 14 Archon Roosevelt's. 
mounted up on the Gladiator XCOM. These are 37, 13 and a half R24s. A uh, little bit more stretchy boy than I was anticipating, but they look really rowdy and I'm super excited and I kind of put one on already. And they told me these would fit with no trimming on a stock suspension. This is bullshit. Here, you need this? Hey, we doing stuff today? We're, we're gonna start doing stuff today. It's we finally time. We're gonna take that stock Silverado right there, and we're gonna put it right here, and then we're gonna rip it apart. Let's do it. We leave in two weeks, your truck's not done. Right. Why? Because the damn Rona. Um, so what, it's Monday, August 24th. We need to leave September 10th. So we gotta leave a little over two weeks. Um, powder coat is getting finished up today. It should be here tomorrow. Um, meantime, I'm gonna just start putting on stuff that didn't have to get powder coated and try and get a head start on getting it put together. Fingers crossed. Austin, awesome. right. the bumper's finally here. I know, it's sick. You guys didn't get to see the unboxing, um, but if you want to see the unboxing, you can go to Custom Offset's Garage channel and see that. Um, but look it, it's over there, it's on the floor. It's pretty neat. This is the bottom of it. You're probably not gonna be able to show that. Don't show the bottom, because I basically have to cut the whole bottom off. Shh, don't tell anybody. What? Yeah, don't tell anybody. The whole bottom? Pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut the whole bottom off. Um, you see, ADD makes a really sweet bumper with an integrated skid plate. And then Superlift makes a really good <laughs> lift kit with an integrated skid plate. And I don't need skid plates on my skid plates because they kind of do one of these and they don't work together. So one of them has to be sacrificed. And unfortunately, I think it's going to be the bumper. But it looks cool. Look, look over here, look. Wow, it's upside down, but wow, it's so cool. There you go, turn the camera on. Camera's upside down. Isn't it neat? It's so sick. It's gonna look good on the truck. I'm gonna have to paint it eventually, but we don't have time for that. Not right now. We have to leave in a week. Lawson! Hello. Lawson! New parts, new parts, new parts day. So, recon, yeah. These trucks are really sweet, but they have big red tail lights. So recon hooked me up with a set of new ones. They're not big red tail lights, 
and I hope they look really, really cool because they're brand new. They just came out, they just launched. So let's see what they look like. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Black tail lights, much more my style. I like it. I can't wait to get them in. Okay, I'm gonna put them in now. Can I, 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 can I? I know you're jamming up here, but your kit's here. Are you saying actually, or are you just coming up here because it's three o'clock? No, it's actually here. It's bright. Good, we wanted bright. All right, come look. Adam, where are you? Wow. It is bright. I wanted bright. That is rowdy. F***ing neat, dude. That is neat. Okay. Oh yeah. It's gonna be interesting against the gray. I like it. Let's get it unloaded and get it put on. Hey, we gotta move fast. All right, what are you doing? Well. This is not only just high vis it also does some pretty cool sh** in the dark. It's been sitting outside in the sun for the last hour, so we're gonna see if it still does cool sh** in the dark. But we gotta move fast, I don't want it to die. It's light right there. Is that picking up on camera? Yeah. That's some boo sh**. We're probably gonna get pulled over, but it's okay. Because we look cool doing it. Don't you have rock lights? Well, yeah, I have rock lights. How else am I going to charge it? I mean, that's it's pretty fucking tall. Oh my God. This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. This is impressive. <laughs> this is very impressive. <laughs>